242, 17 miles, I'm going to stage acceptance. Okay, yeah, what will happen with your body if you start running every day? Surprisingly, there are a lot of benefits about running and today we're accepting the running challenge. I'm not a big fan of running and mile a day for 30 consecutive days might sound like a life sentence, but at the end of the day, I think it was one of the most easiest fitness challenges I tried. And for me, it was another YouTube project and I put a lot of purpose into it, even though I faced the beginner difficulty of just start it. Because sometimes you just don't want to do it. This is actually day after night filming and uh, do I want to go? No. Will I? Probably. Wow, do you feel after running that the floor is moving? Yeah. That's weird. But this is actually second time I run the windmill. Oh, treadmill, not windmill. Do you recover? Yeah. Nice forearms. Beans, beans. I'll let you work out. <laughs> well, running every day can improve your sleep, improve your brain efficiency and your immune system performance. But this is something that is very hard to measure and there are so many factors that can affect that. So I try to find out what results you actually can see and measure. And first thing you can measure is VO2 max is the maximum rate of oxygen consumption attainable during physical exercises. At the end of the experiment, I'm gonna use the same machine, the same settings and possibly see the different result. The second variable is how your body changed. This is me highly motivated chasing my dreams. Look at this face. This person is excited to run every day for next 30 days. Day 13. I don't feel any effect on any aspect of my life. It didn't take too much to realize that a mile a day is nothing. It's basically 10 minutes of exercising and and with all respect to every exercise that possibly exists, 10 minutes of exercise are way better than zero minutes of exercise. But these 10 minutes a day by itself is not enough to see the significant changes in your body. But even though there are some interesting benefits from that. And the first one that I mentioned is the satisfaction of make things done. Every day of the challenge I pay attention how I feel before and after run. Every time I feel slightly better. But I caught myself on the thought that I feel better just because I accomplished something that I needs to be done. So I think it's very good discipline exercise. Something that will keep you accountable. And with my experience accountability and discipline the foundation of any type of success. Sometimes you get bored doing mile. And you can do three. So three miles, half an hour. So very light pace. 464 calories, two cookies. Think about it. I would rate the difficulty of these challenges two points out of 10. And on day 31st, I decided to celebrate achievement to run as far as I possibly could to see how far I can go. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I feel tired and sleepy right now. Not because it's a late evening. For some reason, I experience this tiredness and sleepiness almost every time when I'm about to do something physically challenging. We need water, more water, more water. I never run a marathon in my life and I have no idea how much water do I need. We have lights here, time lapse over there and lights here just because all these lights have a sensor of motion. And if I'm here by myself for 15 minutes, everything becomes dark. I want to have as much as possible light. I was thinking to start at 8. Right now is 8 or 9. Ready to start. Okay, mile number one. Still feel cold. Hands a little bit cold because it's pretty chilly here. That's how I watch videos. Oh no, my phone. My phone fell. I'm so happy that you guys are here. It's just mile one and I dropped my phone already. Thank you, you so much. Get you. Okay. Three miles, half an hour. Ooh, 500 calories. Not bad. That's how I look after the first hour mark. Feels super nice. 1,054 calories burned. So far, no regrets. One hour, 30 minutes. Almost 10 miles, 9.8. It's not fun at this point. 
a t-shirt rubbing my boobies don't feel nice as you see everybody left and light went off two hours one minute almost 13 miles almost so the goal is to keep the pace for two hours achieved elite kipchoge by this time finish his 26 mile marathon run um i'm not even half i think i'll be fine you see it's dark nobody's here just me doing stuff 10 miles 2430 calories burned i'm excited for the end <laughs> but i have to enjoy the journey 242 17 miles i'm going to stage acceptance three hours three thousand calories i know why this shit stop that's look workout three hours i'm very unhappy about that well i think that's enough i'm actually upset a little bit it's not gonna be a good numbers on the treadmill Anyway, running marathon without proper training is stupid and uh, you can damage your mental and physical health for sure. Anyway, 18 miles, I'm pretty happy about that. I run 18.75, then it stopped. And it stopped at two hours, 59 minutes, 50, 59 seconds. And I got frustrated. I actually didn't finish the video yet. This is not sponsored by a pro form. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit frustrating. I was aiming for 26 miles marathon or maybe 30 miles to make the numbers look good. Maybe we should train more and run a real marathon next year. Since upper body stopped working well, let's destroy our lower body. In my personal experience, I like treadmill, but outside you can feel the volume of work that you've done and it makes you feel better. If we're talking about running as the meditation part or your mental health exercise i think running outside will be more beneficial than a treadmill I actually have no idea if 0.3 is a good improvement. I think even small progress is the progress. And also the way I look, I try to make uh, the pictures the same angle with the same light. And uh, genuinely, I don't see the difference. Again, logically, 10 minutes a day of exercising will not change your body in any way. Well, if we look at oxygen saturation, it looks like we have a little bit of progress. Since I didn't change any aspect of my life during the experiment, I think it might be fair that the running was the reason why we can see improvement in oxygen saturation. 9769. I'm very excited. Yeah. At the end of the day, running is this simple and one of the most beneficial exercise. So if you're looking for burning a little bit of calories, getting a little bit happier, have a better sleep and better brain performance, possibly get your lower body more stable and improve your joint performance, I think running can be an amazing solution for you. It doesn't need to be super fast. Eight minutes, 10 minutes of jogging a day probably won't make you look like a professional athlete, but it definitely will have a lot of benefits that will improve the quality of your life. Well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Bye.